The Literacy Design Collaborative modules have four components. What task, what skills, what instruction, and what results. The module provides a blueprint for integrating content and a two to three week instructional plan which engages students in reading, research, dialogue, and writing about important topics and issues. Modules are challenging and engaging they provide students with the opportunity to delve deeply into important concepts within a discipline while developing the literacy skills needed for college and work. The LDC task is the heart of a module. This video is designed to help you reflect on the quality and utility of the LDC tasks you have created. Let's consider these elements, coherence, content, text, student writing product, and optional extension. A task that demonstrates coherence shows both clarity and a good fit or alignment between all of the components. The description for educators and background for students creates a context for the teaching task. The best way to check for coherence is to do your own assignment or ask a colleague to try it out. The Chesapeake Bay task is a good example of coherence. It is clear that students are creating a report that describes the impact of human activity on the health of the Bay. Students will use varied sources, including legislation. Each dimension, from the informational template to the student writing product and the clear wording of the content, fits together. By comparison, where have all the flowers gone is a non-example. The question is confusing. The resources are not sufficient, either in richness of content or as tools to develop both claims and counterclaims for an argument. Let's face it, content matters. Since implementing your module will take multiple days of class time, it's important that the time is well invested. A strong task addresses substantive content in the study of the subject or discipline and require students to delve deeply into the content. It reflects both the Common Core State Standards and key standards from your discipline. The content should be framed in an engaging manner which stimulates critical thinking in response to reading and research. The bottom line? Is this topic a big idea or key understanding that is worth both the teacher and student's time to develop? Both examples here ask students to delve into the past. However, the first task is framed in a way that makes it more significant than the second. The Battle of New Orleans made Andrew Jackson a national hero. Only how many folks in the room remember that point, and how many think it's a central issue in U.S. history? This topic is too small to give it weeks of attention. The Cold War task is just the opposite. The task asks students to both analyze a famous speech and utilize their research on the Cold War. This topic is big enough in terms of the discipline of history to invest the time it will take to complete. Think about the text you selected. Are they intellectually challenging but accessible to all students? Will students need to apply literacy skills to comprehend and analyze content? Do they provide the opportunity for deep learning and support the development of the student writing product? This task requires students to conduct their own research on propaganda in World War I and will require immersion in both primary and secondary sources. Students will encounter authentic text and images from this time period. In contrast, there are too many texts in the second task. Vanity Fair is a 900-page novel and Limbo is a complete non-fiction sociology book. It's important to choose manageable texts or sections of texts. Check the student writing product. Is it linked in clear and meaningful ways to the content and type of writing? Is it a multi-paragraph and appropriate composition? Does it provide adequate challenge and allow students to communicate deep content understanding? 
In this example, a letter is a good fit for the task, and writing for a specified audience may strengthen the tone and language of the writer's argument. On the other hand, an email is not a good fit for either the content or task type. In this example, a student will analyze and synthesize multiple sources of information about fossil fuels and alternative energy sources. An email is brief in nature and would not lend itself to the development of a fully cited argument with counterclaims and examples. Finally, let's think about extensions. While an extension is optional, it affords an opportunity to extend the learning experience offered by the task. For example, a student who wrote a script might create a podcast, while others might use their research to develop and implement a campaign that advocates for positive change. The key here is that the extension authentically engages students and targets realistic audiences. Creating a quality LDC task is a recursive process. You'll find that this investment of teacher time and know-how will pay big dividends for your students and provide a strong foundation for your LDC module.